All right, some breaking news now. Hillary Clinton took the center stage today as the keynote speaker at the New York State Democratic Party convention in the heart of Times Square. Some are calling calling it her big political comeback. I could barely make it through that sentence without laughing, crying, or stumbling, really. Yes, the suits are back, folks, courtesy of the Democratic Party. A month ago, Dems were touting her as the antidote for what ails their party, i.e. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. That was laughable even then, but that was a month ago, a month before we found out what we now know, a month before we found out about Hillary Gates. A month ago, they were saying that, quote, she's re already in an advantageous position to become the 2024 Democratic nominee, and she's an experienced national figure who's younger than Mr. Biden and can offer a different approach from the disorganized and unpopular one the party is currently taking. Ooh. Oh, she's experienced, all right, experienced at lying, spying, and losing elections. And this is their best hope? And she's five years younger than Biden, so apparently to Dems that makes her better suited, pardon the pun, or not. So we find out that Hillary Clinton's campaign actually spied on Donald Trump at the White House and at his private residence, all with the purpose of trying to find dirt on him to connect him to Russia and she's out there shilling in the spotlight for the Democrat Party nom nomination, likely. In an exclusive Daily Mail video from two days ago, Hillary wasn't interested in answering any questions about Hillary Gate. There she is. Did you it's called an Olay, folks. But yesterday, Hill Shady finally said something, just had something to say when she tweeted, Trump is desperately spinning up a fake scandal to distract from his real one. So it's a day that ends in Y. In other words, every day ends in Y. Fake scandal, sure. Hey, Hillary, here's another word that ends in Y. Crazy. You're crazy if you think we buy any of your lies. Is there anyone less self-aware than Hillary Clinton? Of course, having a complete lack of self-awareness is par for the Hillary course. This is the same woman who, when asked about being such a polarizing public figure, responded with, well, sure, we said that about Church Winston Churchill between the wars, didn't they? Oh, right, that's right, Hillary. Compare yourself to British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, you know, the one who helped lead the Allies to victory against Adolf Hitler and the Nazis in World War II. Yeah, that guy? You? Mm -mm. And now a political thriller, Hillary Copend might make it to the big screen. So let me get this straight. A book, a movie, another pre potential presidential run, What's next? A skincare line? Her own fragrance? Are you kidding me with this? The Dems are in a precarious situation heading into these midterm elections, and rightfully so. They've mishandled just about everything they could get their hands on. Crime, the economy, borders, COVID, schools, inflation. And their answer? Hillary Clinton? One of the organizers of today's convention actually said that, quote, she's beloved by the mainstream members of the Democratic Party, and her popularity is likely higher than of that of President Biden. Well, one, that's not too difficult of a feat to achieve. Joe Biden's poll numbers are ridiculously low. But two, speaking of dreadfully low, ridiculously low, seriously, Hillary is the party's beacon of hope? This is the party of delusional. This is the country. The country has spoken. America made it clear not once but twice with their votes that nobody wants a Clinton back in the White House, especially this Clinton. And still, Hillary Clinton for president again? This party's other supposed beacon of hope, Kamala Harris, tells you everything you need to know about the Democrats. So the Dems want to put Hillary back in office after everything. They think she's their best choice for the Oval Office. It's frightening, folks. You know, Hillary's book is a political thriller called State of Terror. I couldn't imagine a more fitting title. Let's bring in Newsmax contributor Mark Meadows. He's former chief of staff for President Trump. Mark, chief. Apparently, Trump is living rent-free in Hillary's head. She's still invoking the name of Trump, even as she kind of, in her big comeback tour in New York today. Well, obviously, uh, her big comeback is, is something that the Democrats may be hoping for, but the rest of America is, is looking at this and just saying they're not going to buy it. Uh, you know, when, when you look at, at uh, her poll numbers and they're bragging that it's better than Joe Biden's, uh, you know, it, it, it is hard to get above last. And, uh, and so as, as she's looking at this, uh, everything is going to focus not just on these most recent allegations. Those were certainly the Durham um, uh, pleading just the other day, uh, which indicated that 
uh, or at least alleged that there was spying that was going on, not just on the campaign, but during uh, the time that President Trump was in office. It's very troubling for her, but that's not the only thing, Eric. You, you've been covering this a long time. Uh, it, it was uh, also all the millions of dollars that they paid for uh, the fake dossier. It was the continued peddling of this misinformation and what people are going to remember is that Hillary knew better, and she continued to uh, use this Russia hoax as an attack on President Trump when she actually was at the very core of this. Yeah, Mark, before I go into a little bit of sound from Hillary entering the Sheridan in Midtown Manhattan, before we roll that control room, don't do it yet, just weigh in a little bit about that time that we now know as Hillary was, was trying to gain information by hacking into, having someone hack into uh, the White House and, and Trump Tower. It's insanely uh, egregious. It's, it's literally worse than Watergate, but for some reason, the media is not really picking up on it as being as atrociously illegal as it is or uh, appears to be. Well, mo mo most of the media has bought the lie for the last four years. They've had Hillary Clinton, Adam Schiff, and others coming on TV each and every day saying, Russia, 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 uh, while President Trump has said that uh, there, there was nothing there to the allegations. And yet what we start to see now is, is that as Durham gets further and further into this investigation, the tangled web that they wove actually uh, was, was there all of all the time. You know, people like Devin Nunes, Jim Jordan, myself, and a few others uh, kept raising the alarm to say, listen, everything that's being put out there is not true. And yet what we start to see is it's finally unraveling on Hillary Clinton. But I, I don't see this as a comeback for her. Uh, the Democrats will need a new nominee for 2024, but I don't see it being Hillary Clinton. Well, uh, folks, control and roll that sound bite of Hillary uh, right outside the Sheraton today, earlier today. So, so, Mark, you know, they're yelling, lock her up, you know, okay, uh, maybe facetiously, but let's be real. We, based on what we know now or what we think we know and what, what Durham may expose in the coming days, is there a chance that she gets indicted, do you think? Well, I, I doubt that she gets indicted. Uh, I know that maybe a lot of your viewers would love to, to see that and the lock her up chance there. Uh, listen, I, I think that most of uh, the dirty work uh, probably was done by, by people that were either paid uh, or, as the allegations would suggest, were part of, of a campaign effort. Uh, she's going to deny any any personal uh, culpability in all of that. And so as we see this, uh, it, it'll actually fall down, uh, lower down. The real question still remains is, is uh, who knew what when? And that includes some of our government officials uh, when they were actually uh, looking into this because they knew before the mm -hmm. Mueller investigation ever took place that they knew that there was not a there there. And, and yet we spent the, millions and, and, of and, dollars and looking at it. President Obama and Joe Biden may have known as well what, what they were up to because they were warned by John Brennan, allegedly. Mark, we got to leave it there. And I think our audience was wondering, she loves those pantsuits. They were hoping for an orange one for her, but I guess they'll have to wait <laughs> for, the, for the next scandal. Mark Meadows, thanks for joining us. Great to be with you. Take care, Eric.